Uh, hello friends welcome to coding siksha so today in this tutorial we will be building uh, a file upload or image upload application using the node library called as Malter. so you can see that you can go to npm package website so this is the official documentation of this library so it is used to upload multiple files images using node and for this tutorial we will also be using mongodb so this is a graphical user interface tool called as compass through which you can create tables and databases so I have already created this database of images inside this we have a image table so all the images will be stored inside this table and let me just show you the demo of the application so this is the interface of it very sim simple interface so first is the option in order to choose any file so let me just choose any file here so let me just choose this mp4 file mp3 file so if I upload the file here so it will take some time because it, the file is big here so you will see that after the successful upload it will return a JSON response it will contain all the information that is field name original name of the file that is you can see that this name encoding BIM type destination file name so the destination is important we have already created a uploads folder here in the directory of the project so you have to create this folder so all the uploads will be stored inside this so you will see that this file has been stored so similarly you can upload any file here let me choose another file exe file you can also upload this file also so after the upload you will see a json response So you will see that this file is also being uploaded so the file is big so that is why it is taking some time here so similarly you can upload these files so let me just refresh the project and also let me also show the database so it will also contain the images for this we are only uh, using the the third option so the when we upload any image then we will be storing the images inside this database we are not storing the above two files so we are only storing in the dex so if you see that all these two files have been successfully uploaded now you can also choose multiple files so this is the second option here if I uh, choose this file and let's suppose I want to also uh, upload this so you can upload multiple files as well so you can see that this file is gif file is successfully been uploaded so let me just show you that in this way so this is multiple uploads and lastly we have the file you can also ch choose any file this image here so if I choose this image and upload photo so you will see that the photo is shown to us in this route here so the photo is uploaded so now let me just show you the image this is the image so if I open the image So it will be opening so just wait and also let me just show you the database let me refresh this so you will see a, another entry has been successfully added so you will see that it is there in the uploads folder my image this one so th the path is there content type is there and specific id is initialized to every image and this is the binary data of every image so if you want to display it you can use this binary data let me just delete all the entries from it and also delete all the files so we will be creating this project from scratch so just create a new directory in the desktop first of all let me just sto stop this server here let me close all the things so all the source code of this application is given in the video description you can check here so just go to desktop and you need to create a new folder so name it as multer in file upload so first of all we need to 
install the dependencies of the project so just go to the command line and type generate the package.json file by typing this command that is npm init dash y so this will generate the package.json file with the default values so clear the screen and install the dependencies first of all we will need the dependency express in order to create the server second will be body parser the third will be malter this is the image upload library and uh, that's it these are the libraries that we will need here so just enter express body parser and malter So it will take some time, 5 to 10 minutes. So in the meantime, let me just close these windows. So you can see that it has successfully installed it. So now you will need to open the Visual Studio code. So, so it will open the code editor in that folder. So one other dependency I need is nodemon so just write here npm install dash dash save dash dev and sorry I need to no also write nodemon here npm install dash dash save dash dev nodemon so this will automatically restart the server when you make any kind of changes to the application So in the meantime I can just uh, look at the package.json file so you can see that in this we have first of all the entry point file so let me just rename this file to server.js and these are the dependencies body parser express and malter and let me just create the server.js so first of all we need to imp import express so const express and we will to require requiring express and secondly we can import the body parser library body parser require body parser and thirdly we will be requiring malter require malter and we can just create a new variable of app initialize it to express so this will hold the express backend server for us and we can just start the server app.listen at port number 5000 and this is a callback function arrow function so we can just print print it in the console that server is listening on port number 5000 so let me see if nodebone is installed so you can see that nodebone is also being installed so go to the package.json and write this script here start and we can write here nodemon server.js so this will automatically start nodemon for us as we write npm start so just uh, start the server by writing npm start so it will start the server at port number 5000 you can see that now if I open the file in the browser refresh this so you will see error cannot get slash because we have haven't configured the home route so just we will be starting the configuring the routes configuring the the home route so we will write here app dot get as this is a get request slash so this signifies the home route so in the callback it takes request response so this will be an arrow function and we can just send a response a respond at hello world that's it if i reload it you will see that hello world now instead we don't want to send a hello world response instead we want to serve a html file to the user so 
in that HTML file it will be containing three upload files button so we can write here rest or render and we can not render we will be sending file here so send file function so in that we will be using dir uh, name so it will be pointing to the parent directory that is multiple image upload and we will be concatenating the index.html so this file we will create here so create a new index.html file and in this file write some basic html title will be image file and mp image upload form so in the body we will be having a form so the form action attribute will be we will be creating this first form so this first form action will point to upload file so this route we need to configure in the server.js we will be configuring later on and this form has will also be containing encoding type so this attribute is very much required while working with multer so if you don't specify this attribute then you will then your application will not work so this will contain multi-part form data so whenever you upload any kind of images you need to specify this attribute form data so the method will be post because we are posting data that's it so this is the first form tag so inside this we will be containing a simple input tag which will be of type file and uh, the name will be very much important you need to specify the same name here also in the request the server.js when we make a route we need to use the same name so it is very important let me name it as my file that's it so this is the first form let me just copy it and repeat it for the second form paste it here so the second route will be different here so we need to specify here upload multiple because in the second route we will be allowing the users to upload multiple files so here will be upload multiple so the rest of the things will remain constant encoding type multi-part form data and this will also be a post request and uh, here we need to manipulate the name attributes so here i will just write s here my files that's it and uh, also we need to attach this attribute here of multiple so as this will allow users to uh, embed multiple files last but not least we will allow user to have a image upload form so let me just edit the route to upload photo rest will be the same here so in this we will be having input type file and name attribute let me in this uh, initialize it to my image and also a, another attribute of accept so this will be image slash star so as this form will be accepting images and also we will be having a button also so in this input type submit the value will be upload photo so i forgot this second input tag of a button here so we need to copy paste in the previous forms also so this will be input type submit and here the value will be upload upload your files and in the first form also so we will write here upload your file that's it so index.html is complete now if i load it uh, no such file or directory multi file upload slash sorry we have in the server.js we need to write here also slash here sorry so if i reload here 
so you will see that these forms are there we can upload the files here we need to have some break tags after each form so just have two break tags so now if i reload this you will see the three upload files buttons here so when we open the get request route of the application you will see these three i can choose any file here so this will not work the upload file because we haven't created this route here of post so let me just create this route in the server.js but first of all we need to use the middleware of body parser so use the middleware of body parser so in order to initialize it it is very easy you have to use app.use body parser dot url encoded inside this we will pass in the curly brackets extended to true that's it we have successfully configured this middleware so now after writing this index.html we will be initializing the malter library so we will be making a new variable of storage and we will be using malter dot disk storage so there there is different kinds of methods that you can use in malter so this is one of them so this this is a method by which you can store images on your disk that we have let me create a new directory of uploads let me rename it so just create this uploads directory so inside this directory all the images and files will be stored so this is a method to store it dot disk storage so inside this just pass this curly brackets so the first property will be destination so where you want to store your image so this will contain a callback function request dot file dot cb cb stands for callback so here we will pass the callback first argument is the error so we will pass here null and the second will be the directory where you want to store your image so this will be uploads so we have already created this directory so let me put a comma here the second property will be the file name so this this also takes the callback function of request dot file dot callback so in this case we will be calling callback the first will be null the error and the second will be file dot field name so whatever field name that you have provided here you can see that in the name attribute this is a my files my file my image so this will be concatenating in the the actual image which will be uploaded so this will be the first here and we will be concatenating the timestamp value so in order to concatenate we will be using the plus symbol and we will be concatenating this dash symbol dash plus so in order to get the date we will be calling date dot now so this will concatenate the current date and current time to the the actual file name and also we will be concatenating the actual extension so for that we need to also get the path library require path so inside this path library we have a function of extension name so inside this we can pass here file dot original name that's it so this will get the original extension name that is jpeg png mp4 mp3 anything that you want so that's complete the storage here the disk storage now we just want to initialize it to the we need to create a new variable of upload and we will be invoking this multer function inside this we will be having a storage variable and we will initialize it to our custom storage that we have provided above here multer.storage 
that's it so now we will be uh, first of all be importing the mongodb so first of all let me install the dependency npm install mongodb we have forgotten to install this so just write npm install mongodb so this will take care it will be useful in order to connect to the mongodb database so i have already created this table here images image so installing mongodb is very easy so just go to the its official mongodb compass community install it and this is a very easy gui tool to in order to create databases and tables so the dependency is installed here in the package.json you will see that this mongodb has been installed so now we will be importing it at the top here const mongodb require mongodb that's it so after that we will be creating a new variable just after we have initialized the storage here so configuring mongodb so just create a new variable of mongo client so let me just make m capital also mongo client so inside this we will be requiring mongodb we have already created this variable so mongodb dot client mongo client that's it so after this we can create the url to another variable so this will hold the actual address of the mongodb you can see that localhost slash 27017 so this is a port number on which it is running here so we can just write here mongodb colon slash slash localhost 27017 so on every machine this is a default port number of this mongodb software so just write this url at the top so now we can just write mongo client dot connect to the database so in the connect we can pass our url url dot so we will be passing some custom values here in the pair of parentheses so first will be use unified topology to true and use new url parser to also true that's it so after this just put a comma and we have a callback function this will contain the values error and client that's it so this will be arrow function so first of all we can check if any kind of error take place we can just console that re error return console.log error and if all goes well we can create a db variable and we can use the client.db method so our my database name is images so you have to create your database name and pass it here so my database name is images so i can pass this same name here images and after configuring it we can just start this mongo client also app.listen and at port number 3000 i can start this server so this also takes this arrow function so i can just write console log uh, listening at 3000 so i can just write here mongodb listening at mongodb server listening at 3000 so if i just reload this uh, start this server again here clear the screen and write here npm start so now you will see also that this line will also print mongo server listening at 3000 
you can see that MongoDB server listening at 3000. So we have successfully configured the Mongo database as well in our application. So now we just want to configure the three routes in order to upload file, uh, multiple files and images. So first of all, we will be configuring the upload file route. So just after you have defined your Mongo client, so just after the home route, we will be defining, configuring the the upload file route. So we can write here app post as this will be a post re uh, request on this URL dot slash upload file. So this contains after this comma we will write here upload dot single. So this is a method in Malter in order to upload a single file. So this takes the name attribute. So earlier I have just stated that this name attribute has to be same here. So whenever you define in the index.html, this has to be same. So I will pass the same attribute, my file to this also, my file and comma. So the third parameter will be the uh, callback function. So this te uh, takes uh, request, response and next. So next is the middleware variable. So this will be a arrow function. So first of all we will fetch the file which is passed const file request dot file. So this will successfully fetch the file. Now in the uh, next step we need to check if the file exists. If the file is successfully been uploaded. So if the add uh, not file means that the file contains error. So in that case we can make a new variable of error. We can call this constructor of error and pass a message here please upload a file that's it and we can also attach to the error a status code http http status code 400 and we can just return next and passing the actual error so this will return the error if no file has been uploaded so it will say that please upload a file and if the things goes all right then we can just send the response dot response dot send with the actual file you can see that semicolon is so the first route is complete guys so now let me just show you by running the application let me see you can see that it is auto reloaded so now if I choose any file here let me choose this file and upload file so it will say that please upload a file uh, guys the error was in the index.html file so just go to the index.html file in the encoding type we have committed a mistake so in this after the multi part we don't have to put dash instead of that we need to put a slash so just replace slash here also and also here also that was a mistake I was very much confused why that error was coming so now if I refresh it the server and go back to this URL again and choose a file let me choose this file and upload file so you will see that it is returning a JSON response and in that JSON response all the information is there field name original name all that stuff so now if I go to the uploads directory so let me just see So you can see that this is how I forgot to let me just close this so this is the file that we have uploaded here you can just open this file this is a gif animation so let me just uh, upload another file go back to it choose file and let me just select this file image file upload file again you will see get this response and this is the second image that we have uploaded so in this way this is the first route that we have configured here just let me just close it and go back to the text editor server.js so now we will configure the multiple files route configure the multiple files route 
so for that we will again make a post request so this time the the URL will be upload multiple files upload multiple that's it now the second argument will be the upload dot array in order to upload the array of files we have a array function in malter so this takes the first name attribute so which we have defined in the index.html this is very much important you have to be naming the same so i will be naming here my files the second argument how many files do you want to make the user upload at one time so i will allow 12 files you can upload at any time and the third function will be the callback function this takes request response and the next middleware function so this will be an arrow function and the first line we will write here we will get the files const files is equal to this request dot files and after that we will check if the files are uploaded or not by this condition and if the files are not uploaded we will be just be again doing this create error please choose files that's it and also we will be attaching the http status code so in this case it will be 400 lastly we will be returning this next error that's it so if there is no error we will be returning this no error so we will be writing response.send files that's it so now if i move on to the application and choose multiple files let's suppose i choose this file also sorry let me just refresh it once again <clears throat> so this time i can target multiple files here you can see that i can select this one uh, six files i can select here sorry not, let me just only select two at a time because it will take time so let me just three files at a time upload your files so this will take some time you can see that it has uploaded here so now if i show you the directory you can see that three files are uploaded so this is the multiple files route we are successfully configured that so now the third route we will be configuring is the is the image upload to the database so in this we will be i will be also be showing that how to store images in mongodb with the help of multer library so in this case we have again a post request to make now the url will be upload photo upload photo so in the index.html we have specified the same url upload upload photo and that's it so the second argument will be upload dot single because we are uploading a single image at a time upload dot single so in the parentheses i will write the name attribute that i have given in the index.html that is my image just write it here my image comma so the third parameter will be the callback function request response this will take that's it and uh, first of all we will be grabbing the image here var image and uh, for this we will also be requiring the file system so just grab here file system module so this you are natively available in node.js require so here we are here fs dot so there is a function read file sync so you have to call this function and first of all we will be getting the file path request dot file dot path that's it after this we will be encoding the image so just make a new variable encode image and we will be taking the actual image and calling this function to string and uh, passing here base 64 so i will be encoding the string into encoding the image into base 64 string and now i will be defining a json object defining a json object 
for the image that we have created so just create a new variable final image let's suppose final image so this takes three properties first is the content type of the image so this will be request dot dot file dot mim type comma secondly we will be having the path actual path of the image request dot file dot path third parameter is the actual image so we will be creating a new buffer class inside this we will be passing the encoding image this is we have created encode image and the second argument will be I will type here base64 again that's it so our image is created so just put a semicolon after this now the we need to just insert this image into the database insert the image to the database so for that we will be calling the collection method on the db object db dot collection so inside this method we can pass our image so you can see that image dot insert so this is a method here insert one so this is a method in so this will insert one image at a time so this is a mongodb method we will pass our image final image comma and the second argument it takes is the callback function which contains the error or the result so if any error takes place we can just display this error this will be arrow function so we will check for the error first of all we will console log result and if any error is there if error we can return it return console log printed in the console and if no error is there we can just print a message console.log save to database that's it and now we need to fetch this image also and display it in another window for that we need to call res response dot we need to set the content type of the image we can just uh, grab this by our final image dot content type I have already been initialized this content type to this object here so we are just grabbing it and setting it and lastly we will call this function rest.send and we will be sending the actual image that is final image dot image so this is this contains all the base64 binary data of the image and lastly we are just displaying this binary data on the image that's it guys so now the application is complete now let me just go to the application and reload the server and let me choose a file let me choose this file again upload photo so you can see that the photo is displaying and let me just check the refresh the mongodb so you will see this image gif just populated this in the database also insert it let me try another photo here choose file this photo upload photo same process once again it is displayed and let me refresh the database so you will see that it is inter inserting the photos into the mongodb database so this is the application guys so visit my website coding siksha for the whole source code the video disc i have given the source code in the video description so just check that and also visit my coding siksha website so thanks very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the